In my end of season transition video of three weeks ago, I shared a look at my pre-fall transition decor. I also shared some simple fall DIYs for ideas and inspiration. Today, I am going to take that transitional decor and either build on it or change it. You will see some of those DIYs today for my modern fall decorating. Let's get decorating! Go ahead and get started with our first vignette. We are in the kitchen family room area and we're going to get started with this credenza here. As you can see, we're still decorated in our pre-fall decorations. The books at the bottom there from Z Gallery, we're going to leave those, but we're going to change the top part of the credenza. We're going to use this um, bow moss decoration in another area. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. We're going to put this to the side and we also, I'm not sure if I'm going to use these risers or not. So we'll move that. Okay, now we have a nice clean slate that we can start with. Now what I want to create here is a nice modern fall look. We're going to use some cloches this stand here nice and simple stand so it doesn't take away from the decor and on top of that stand we're going to set this gorgeous pine cone decor that I purchased from Etsy long long time ago I painted it a chrome silver and I love the look it's a beautiful piece of art so that's what we're gonna put in the center so this is our nice decor see how gorgeous that is very very nice on that stand it's sitting up straight so I looked out on that now we're going to place both of those inside a cloche so this is the largest cloche I purchased this from Z gallery it's about 20 plus inches tall and it's very very wide at the bottom and it should slide down here pretty easy I just have to take it slow. And that stand should close in here very nicely. There we go. Very nice. These gorgeous black faces, uh, faces uh, they're called silent. And I'm going to place each of those on the side. And we're going to put those inside a cloche. Or I can just leave them out and sit them on the riser. We'll see. Um, which one look best so that's how it look without it being in the dome so now I'm gonna put it inside the dome and we see how it looks okay so that's how it looks inside the dome so with them being inside the dome I couldn't use the risers with it because it was too tall but it gives it a finished look but the only downside is you can't really see the faces with them outside the dome, you can see the faces and the details of the faces. And it did look nice on the riser. So the next vignette is the coffee table. And we're going to decorate the bottom and the top surface of the coffee table. During the pre-fall, we had this beautiful uh, bowl vignette on a stand. Gorgeous. Love it. I probably will use that in another area of my home. But we're not going to use it here, so we're going to go ahead and take it off. Now, what we're going to put on the second shelf is we're going to go ahead and use that green moss. I'm thinking, I'm not sure this may change, guys. We're going to try it. It's nice. It looks modern. But I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it that way. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this vignette for the coffee table. I love decorating with this. It's an iron candle holder, ring candle holder. And it's one of my favorite decor items I love to decorate with So because it's so versatile. Like in the holidays, I used a ornament that I set in here. Or you can use some sort of spear that you like. 
So both of these were $24.99. I purchased from Home Goods many, many years ago. So we have a candle holder there. Now we're going to put our nice little candles. Now what we can do, we can make it just the candle sitting in the plate, sitting on the plate like this. Or you can dress it up a little bit and actually put it inside a nice little glass container like I have here. So we're going to set our candle in here. One time out of ten, two times won't you be mine? We just can't pretend. This love thing can take time. Three times then I'm in. I heard through the grapevines. You missing a playtime, girl. Mm -hmm. Your beauty make them bow down. I need that body right now, yeah. So we're going to use this pompous grass. It's about 14 inches long, I think it is. And it comes six in a pack. I purchased it from Amazon. If you want to know any details on it, it's in my Amazon store. I have the link in the description box. But I love the color of it. It is gorgeous. This is the color I'm using for my fall de decorating. And I think it is a beautiful, beautiful color for fall. And I love that it has a little pick down at the bottom so it can easily insert inside the vase. So this is what we're using for our floor arrangement in that tall black vase. Okay guys, so what I decided to do was add some of these black granules in here, the little stones. And I put those in the bottom of those hurricane vases so the candle can stand up straight and it will have something to level. Okay, everyone, so this is what a fall vignette looks like for the coffee table. Your beauty make them bow down. I need that body right now. So we're going to move over to our final vignette, which is over in the kitchen. Okay, guys, here is what we're going to be doing next for our third vignette on this side of the kitchen. This is our pre-fall decorations. We're going to go ahead and change this. We're going to add to it. What we're going to do first is remove that cake stand and we're going to place it on the opposite side. We're going to remove the bonsai tree. Also over here on this side, we have to remember that we are going to be incorporating our cocoa bar on this side. So we need to keep that in mind. We're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so first thing first, we're going to remove our bonsai tree and we're going to remove our cake stand. For my fall decorating, if I have not mentioned, I wanted to incorporate fall colors and fall decor, but without the fall, typical fall pumpkin look. I might use a pumpkin here and there, but I'm trying to get away from the pumpkin look and more of the modern look using fall colors. What we're going to begin with here is we're going to add a riser in this corner. Now we must keep in mind too because this is the area where my husband fixed his coffee. We have a space for that. And what we're going to put on top of this riser is this nice little apothecary jar and it has this beautiful metal decoration on it. It's very, very pretty. And we're going to fill it with these silver modern looking acorns that are silver at the bottom at the body and then it has a nice sort of tan or taupe color cap. So that's what we're gonna fill it with. We're going to place that on top of here and we have a nice little lid with the silver cap and rhinestone stud neck and that looks nice and we need something over in this side now this is going to be our pumpkin 
that I'll be using in this area. And this is a nice little modern contemporary pumpkin. It's in an amber glass. has a metal cap with the uh, curl stem. Very pretty. Very nice rubber bottom. So we're going to slide that right in. Okay, so I'm liking how that looks. Now we need to put something in front here to cover up this riser. I was thinking about putting a candle there, but the candle would take up a little bit too much of a footprint. As you can see there, like I said, I mean, he still have this, but that is just uh, too low, so it doesn't cover up the cording. I could put a riser on top of it to stand it up, which would be okay, but I'm thinking that's not the look that I want. So what I want to do is to bring some more of the chrome look on this side that we have over in the family room. I decided to add a leaf decor look over here and that way it covers up that riser and the cording back there and I think that finishes off nicely. Here we are on this side. What we're going to do is we're going to take this leaf away and the easel and like I said I have to think about the coffee on the, the cocoa bar that I will be incorporating in this space. We're leaving the two cutting boards up here because I really like that look and I also like the riser on this side because it almost looked like another cutting board. I'm going to place that right there in front and it still gives me that space that I need for my cocoa bar. What we're going to put over here is this beautiful floor arrangement that I created. If you want to see how I create that, I did a little short DIY on my shorts. You can um, check that out in my short library. I will link that in the iCard above if you're interested how I created this. And that is it. That's all I'm going to put on this side. And I think that looks great. That would do it for me, love. So I hope you enjoyed the second video in my Fall Into Autumn series. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you, loves, for joining me today. I hope I inspired you with ideas for your next seasonal decorating, organizing, or entertaining project. See you on the next one. Barry